Wanda. People are really, really distressed, anxious, and everything. So, justice has not been allowed to take its course. And it is not being allowed to take its course. Justice has been captured. The courts have been captured. The system has been captured. The voice of the people has been captured. It's like a metaphor now that the mask in itself is symbolizing the silencing of the lambs. If a country is coming up with a law to muzzle its own people, to silence its own people, to say to them, you cannot call for action against your own country if its leadership is behaving badly. To say it is a crime to call for action, to call for sanctions on your country if it is abusing its own citizens, if it is abducting its own citizens, if it is torturing its own citizens, if it is killing its own citizens, if it is not following human rights, respecting human rights, if it is treating its own citizens in a degrading and humiliating and unhuman manner, and it's said to be a crime if you call for sanctions for such or on such a country, it means the law has gone to the dogs. It's a mockery actually to the dogs to say the law has gone to the dogs because dogs as we know them, they are men's best friend. So, the law has gone to the devil. If a government puts down and campaigns for laws that silence its own people, if justice calls for all courts not to hand down verdicts, not to hand down decisions until they have seen and said yes, then it shows how bad the system has become. How bad the country has become. How scared the ruling party has become. Running away from its own shadows. Shadows of darkness. Fellow brethren and fellow citizens of my country. Even talking on Twitter like this, on Facebook, on YouTube, on social media like this, is considered a crime. Your house is beggared and you are dragged out, denied bail, 
and even your appeal thrown out through the window. Just for saying on Twitter, Zimbabwe must be free. ZANU-PF must go. ED must go. There is a reason. Do you think if the current government was dealing effectively with corruption, was dealing effectively with all the abductions, torture, and dumping of its own citizen, if it was dealing effectively with developments, devolution, if it was dealing effectively with everything, human rights, respecting the constitution, and the Zimbabwean people we are living happily the ever after. Do you think we will be standing up like this to say anything against it? No. Something is wrong. And it must be corrected. And the only way to correct it is if our leaders learn to listen and respect people's observations and respect people's voices and change. Let us work hard to bring change to our country. And I'm talking about Zimbabwe. Zimbabwean lives matter and we need to break the chains. We need to break the chains. We need to remove the masks. We need to remove the darkened glasses of our faces and we need to shout out Zimbabwean lives matter. It shouldn't be other people in the world calling for this. It should be your responsibility and my responsibility and I will never be quiet. I will talk about it until the message gets home. We need to speak out. Zimbabwean lives matter and we deserve better. God bless you and stand up, especially my fellow brethren like Nehemiah. Who said, how can I be happy? How can I smile? How can I celebrate? How can I find sleep? How can I find joy? When the city of my forefathers, when the city of my fathers, when the city of my brothers and my sisters, when the city where I grew up in, when my country is in ruins, when I cannot even feel free to walk the streets of my capital city without checking first who is following behind me. Before I leave my house, I've got to make sure it is safe to do so. How can I be happy? How are you managing to smile? How are you managing to celebrate? How are you managing to have fun? We need to stand up as fellow citizens and say no to the minority elite who sit and enjoy the wealth of our country at the expense of you and me. Zimbabwean lives matter. Thank you for watching.